Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to my channel for a heyday how-to video. Now in the case of this video, it's all about how to remove the foxes. Now some of you don't like them, personally I do, I think they're a great animal to have on the farm. But for those of you who don't like them, let's teach you how to remove them. Now, since the last update, you might have noticed that there have been a few more foxes on the farm, especially over towards the river location. And some players have been saying, like, how do I get rid of them? Well, this is a quick method on what to do, and it's very easy. Now, first things first, you need to switch over from your original design into another design. So using the edit mode, which is down in the bottom right hand corner, change to the edit mode and go to a different layout. Now, once you've gone to a different layout, then you can make any modifications and changes you like without affecting your basic design. Now, the key thing to do is to clear the area. So all the foxes are over by the river at the moment, and I don't have any trees here with this design. So I remove all the decoration that's in the way out of the way using the edit mode and shift it elsewhere within the design. Now, I don't need to worry about it looking beautiful or not because this is one of the edit mode options. Now, once you've actually cleared away the area, then basically some of the foxes decide to walk off and they just go down to the roadway. As they get down to the roadway, they kind of like become a shadow fox and then they disappear. Now, that's not always going to happen. Sometimes the foxes will move in the other direction. Sometimes they will just stay around there. So there's still more to do to get them to disappear. Now, one of the things you can do is to tap on the foxes. If you actually tap on them, they do move. Now, it's not going to work all of the time. Sometimes they go in the direction you want and disappear. Sometimes they go back on themselves. Sometimes they kind of like go in a completely opposite direction. So the tapping is good, but it's not 100% effective, but it does help. Now, if you do tap them, then it's great. They disappear. But you might want to consider putting a barrier down to stop them from going the wrong way. So put walls to the rear of the foxes. And using these walls is actually one of the better methods for actually removing the foxes from within the game. Because what you're going to do is to place those walls down. And then as they start sliding down uh, and moving down with the foxes, then the foxes feel inclined to move away from the walls. So by using wall pieces, you're blocking their ability to go elsewhere and they go off in the direction that you want them to go and then they disappear. So that's one thing you might want to consider. Use the walls. Now, as you do move those walls down, the foxes will leave quite naturally until they are gone. Now, some foxes will wander off into different areas. Some foxes will not move. So it is a bit of a patience game when it comes down to waiting for these foxes to leave. Remember, you've got the finger tapping option. But remember, tapping does make them go off in other directions. Now, once those foxes are gone, perfect. If you wanted to, you can switch back to your original design by going into the edit mode. Maybe you might even want to redesign this one and make it so it's a second farm that looks even more beautiful. The choice is yours at the end of the day. Now, remember, this is not a permanent fix because foxes will come back. Now, there are some foxes that are in that top corner. And this has always been a bit of a, an issue for a lot of people. There's a fox there, but you can't get to it. Now, one thing you need to do again is to use the wall pieces. Again, you need to put them in such a way that they are kind of like captured and not going anywhere else. So keep them enclosed in that same area. And then divide and conquer. So separate the foxes, break them down into individual foxes, and then start moving them down one at a time. That works. If you can do two or three at the same time, perfect. But you're trying to reduce the risk of them running away and then messing up your work here. Now, once you've got rid of one of the foxes, you might want to start working on the top ones a little bit more. Now, please be careful. If they get too close to the wall, they kind of like have an attachment to the wall and it kind of like means part of their body is connected to that wall and they will go through. And if they go through, then basically the fox has broken free. But don't worry about that. If a fox breaks free, it also means that it's kind of like guided in another direction, which is great for you because it's actually moved from the place that you don't want it to be. So I've got it from that corner now and it's gone down. So all I need to do is basically adjust my layout. And because it's in the edit mode, it's very easy to use the edit option of removing and pasting, removing and pasting, 
just to create a barrier to stop them going off. Now remember, foxes have a specific kind of pathway or the way they move. Now once they've actually gone in the direction you want, then basically it's easy. You just uh, adjust the design as needed, move them down, and then they will vanish. And once they vanish, then that's perfect. Uh, you don't have to worry about those ones anymore. Now, the one that's in the very, very top corner is a problem. And with the one that's in the corner, it's more difficult to deal with. Now, there are a couple of additional options that you can do uh, while you are thinking about moving that fox. Now, one option is often to do with just patience. You've got to wait. It is a waiting game for that one to move. But you can also hedge your bets as well by adding in bushes and trees that would attract the fox. So as an example, those foxes, they like berry bushes. Uh, they also like the lemon trees and some of the other fruit trees. So placing those trees in the vicinity brings the fox down into that area. And once they start moving close, then you can put the wall in that corner to stop its return. Once you've stopped its return, then basically, again, it's waiting for the fox to come down. Now, if it's not moving down like you would like him to do, then, like I said, using these berry bushes, using these fruit trees in the direction you want it to go is a very, very good bright indeed. So you'll see I've placed some berry bushes down there. The fox is looking at them and it's thinking, ooh, berries. And they do love berries. If you want to attract foxes to your farm, berry bushes are a fantastic way of encouraging foxes to come into the design and make it so there's more animals there. Now, once the actual fox is attracted to the berry bushes, you've got him. Uh, you just block his escape back into the corner area. And then you just gradually move the berry bushes down and out the way and then you use the wall pieces coming down again just so that you can force the fox out of the farm. Now remember like I said it's not permanent. Foxes will come back again and again and again. You've got to block their access to the farm. Now depending on your design depends on how you do that but the wall pieces at the bottom of the road or other decoration do stop it. Now once you've cleared away those foxes that you don't want then this design is awful. This is not your main design. Go back to the edit mode and then reactivate your original design that you had down there. Once you've reactivated your original design, then you've got that beautiful farm that you had laid out minus those foxes, both in the corner and elsewhere. Now, if you would like to get more foxes on your farm, uh, which is what I think is very cool indeed, there are ways of attracting them. And there's also a video on my channel that shows you how to capture foxes and then enclose them in a nice kind of like pet area, because some of us enjoy doing that. But either way, the focus of this video is how to remove them. I now have a beautiful clean farm. There are no foxes remaining, none stuck in the corner, none up against the river, and none elsewhere. You know, or at least that's the way it was. It's not anymore because I like them. So if you've got any questions on how to do this or you want more detail, there's more imagery on my Facebook uh, account in my photo albums with a more detailed uh, process step. But either way, you can subscribe to my channel and comment below afterwards as well. Let me know. Do you like foxes or not? Do you want to add them or do you want to remove them? Um, the choice is yours at the end of the day, but I think they make a nice little pet to have. Either way, see you next time. Take care and enjoy your foxing. Bye now.